he collided with us in the front left uh, headlight assembly area of the vehicle, at which point in time he kind of pushed us at an angle about six to eight feet. When the crash happened, LMPD officer Zachariah Aubrey was off duty in plain clothes in an unmarked car. He first checked that his girlfriend was okay, and then he went to check on the other driver, Justin Cook. He <gasps> gasped for breath, and uh, I immediately realized that he was overdose on heroin and died, and pretty much dead or dying. Cook testified yesterday and admitted to being high on heroin. I suffer from addiction. And he looks over his left shoulder from like this, and he goes, I didn't do anything, was his first words. And uh, immediately after he said that, he takes his right hand, puts it on his gear shifter, puts the vehicle in reverse and takes both his hands and shoves them into the front part of his waistband right here. Aubrey said he identified himself as a police officer, showed Cook his badge, and asked Cook to get out of the car. Cook refused and began recording the incident on his cell phone. That's when I kind of stepped up uh, the aggression in my tone and my language. Uh, he wasn't complying to me being nice. Eventually, Cook got out. He was sitting like this. As soon as I yelled at him, how hair when his arm comes down and he takes that right arm immediately and drops it back to his waistband so my immediate reaction was oh I didn't search him I didn't pat him down just like this I did that motion to the back left of his calf right here Aubrey said he swept Cook's body with his foot to check for weapons as soon as I did that he says why did you just kick me well in my mind that's not a I could see where it's perceived as a kick to people but to me, that's not a kick. Aubrey says Cook kept trying to stand up, so he pinned his knee against Cook's back until other police arrived. The emotions were high. Uh, the shock and awe factor of being hit head on. Um, and then him being so noncompliant before that video started and everything showed me right away that he's not going to respond to me being nice to him. Now, when other police arrived, they found a hypodermic needle on Cook, and Aubrey says that he believes that needle is what Cook kept reaching for. The defense and the prosecution are going to make their closing arguments tomorrow here at the Hall of Justice, and then the jury will deliberate. Live at the Hall of Justice, Mark Vanderoff, WLKY News. All right, Mark, thank you. Cook was eventually convicted of drug charges related to the incident. Aubrey has been placed on administrative reassignment pending the outcome of this trial. After the trial, his case will be reviewed by Louisville to see what, if any, disciplinary measures he'll face.